I once remember playing a game at school called Nine Cat Lost in Space. Actually, I was shocked at how many freaking drug references they were. The game designers were just high. I mean, come on. And our character Nine Cat is like he's on crack. You want to see? You want to learn more about Nine Cat Lost in Space? Well, I don't have um, a computer in the GTF layer, but I got an iPod. Yeah, there were actually games released on this. Why on the iPod though? You want to learn for yourself? Let's try it out, guys. Just trust me. It will be a trip. It's a drug land. Why do I remember this game for all the drug references? Well, let's discuss, discuss all the power-ups, shall we? The Super Nine power-up makes you fly, which is basically just a Superman ripoff. The Magnet Nine gets nine cat food for points. The Nine Love destroys any enemies in, in your path. The Rocket Nine transforms the Nine Cat into a rocket. Into a rocket. So you just fly over the freaking screen. The Ghost Power. Oh, what the heck is this? You see that? The freaking Nine Cat is high. Look at that. I'm not joking. He's freaking high. He was just high. Oh, anyways, that's the Jam and Dian power up. Let's get some fun. Like, hi. That's the sport should be much better. Hey, this game is all screwed up. Who the heck is this? Is this Tack Dian? Some crap? The Coco Dian pool gets Dian Cat high on cocaine. And the Jam and Dian, which is a saw. It's an iron cat. Oh, hi, I'm me. This game is all screwed up. Look at this. It's a freaking mess. Would, I mean, come on. Would you would you want your kid to play this? Here's a super iron power up, which is for somewhat called dark iron. Oh, oh, the cocaine too. This game is just all crazy. Look at this crap. I just, oh my gosh. It's just like for real. Really? Well, it's official. The game designers were officially drunk. Which reminds me of Hamish from The Hunger Games. Which reminds me, why in the heck, out of all the things that could have came up with, Nine Cat, our character, is a cat that got shoved into a strawberry pop tart and can crap out rainbows. And should I discuss his enemy, Tack Nyan or Waffle Nyan or whatever the heck he's called? He's a cat that got shoved into a waffle and can crap out gray. They should have freaking called this Breakfast Pastry Massacre. Gosh dang it. And I gotta keep playing. It may be addictive, but just the thought of it, it's horrible. Let's see some more game footage. You hear the most annoying song ever is the Nine Cat theme. My gosh. Nine. 
Night Cat Lost in Space is an arcade platform style type of game where you try to collect as many points as possible by collecting coins and all this other junk food. Another main issue I have, once again, is the freaking music. It's annoying. It reminds me of the two-legged horse theme, except for that was annoying and funny, but this isn't. It's a piece of crap. Should I go on to talk about this forever, or should I be shocked that this thing exists? But did there have to be sequels? Breakfast Pastry Massacre is going over time. There are more iPod Dying Cat games, sadly. And I gotta play them. It's all freaking insane. First, I need to get a lot of Mountain Dew into me, or else I won't have the energy to do this. Stay tuned for part two!